For my favorite piece of art, I chose an entire body of work. The complete collection of Calvin and Hobbes. Have you ever read any Calvin and Hobbes? If not, you're missing out. If you have, you know what I mean. If you haven't read them all, you're still missing out. The genius behind Calvin and Hobbes is creator, writer, and complete cartoonist Bill Watterson. With Calvin and Hobbes, Watterson was able to show a perfect blend of suburban childhood, relatable humor, and philosophical undertones. The comic strip ran from 1985 to 1995, and although I'm not sure exactly when I found it, it was pretty early on. In 85, I was six turning seven. I first found Calvin and Hobbes by digging through the funny section of the local newspaper, most likely at my grandmother's house. But before long, I was collecting all the books that were starting to come out, much like I collected Garfield books at the time. One of my favorite things about reading Calvin and Hobbes to this day is the childhood nostalgia I feel when I read them. Most likely because I was young when I discovered them, but also because he sort of reminds me of me. I loved their imagination, their enthusiasm, their curiosity, and I respected their skepticism and humor. In fact, my wife and I together now sometimes can be a bit like Calvin and Hobbes. I'm Calvin, of course. Through Calvin and Hobbes, Bill Watterson helped inspire me to stay young at heart and keep a childlike nature alive at all times. In 2011, I took up painting with acrylics and canvas. One of my inspirations for practicing painting was to recreate some fun images from some of the Calvin and Hobbes books I enjoyed so much from childhood. At this point in my life, I figure I'll always have at least a small bookshelf because my Calvin and Hobbes books are not going anywhere. I look at them as a generational hand-me-down, a true classic work of art.